National Police Week has been celebrated since 1962 to remember and honor those who have fallen in the line of duty and to recognize those that sacrificed every day. Police Week means to me uh, it's a way to honor those uh, military and civilian law enforcement officers that uh, put their lives on the line every day and also a way to honor our, uh, those that have fallen in the line of duty. Ever since I did put in a uniform, it's always been kind of like our appreciation for each other and everyone else that wears a uniform, the Bray, and of course everyone that wears a shield in the world. So it's kind of a big deal. RAF Lake and Heath's 48th Security Forces Squadron hosted a variety of activities to celebrate. Uh, we kicked it off with a 5K combat ruck march challenge. It was very uh, physical and, and rig rigorous. Uh, we also had McGruff, the crime dog, come out and did some fingerprinting to the kids with the uh, Identikid program. Uh, we had a uh, great uh, shooting competition that went on out at uh, Feltwell at Chatham. And we ended it with this uh, closing ceremony uh, today. The closing ceremony really hit close to home due to Lake and Heath losing some of their own, including Senior Airman Nicholas J. Alden in 2011 and Senior Airman Jason D. Nathan in 2007. This year, I mean, seeing as we lost one of our own not too long ago, and then again in 07, it's, it's really important. 48 Security Forces hopes that everyone took a little something from the National Police Week. Well, what I hope people got out of Police Week was that they uh, had a great time interacting with our Liberty Defenders and also that hopefully they gained a, uh, a renewed appreciation for our law enforcement culture. To remember that we are here to protect those who serve and that's a really high calling. For RAF Lake and Heath, I'm Airman First Class, Aaron Mills.